Okay, so uh, here's part two of the uh, Beechcraft trim knob mechanism. What I've done is remove this clip that holds the um, front placard in. And so once you've removed that, that just falls out. And inside, uh, you can see the genius of the beach trim mechanism and what it is is uh, this spring and this uh, and, and there should be two springs in fact but there's a plate between the two of them so this one you can see the center of the spring uh, this is the shaft that runs through the middle to there so this shaft rotates it's not fixed to this it rotates let me see if I can show you this See how that rotates and springs back to position? That's because of these springs. Now the centre of this spring that we can see here is mounted, the end of it is bent and is slotted into the centre uh, of that shaft. It winds all the way out and the end of it is mounted there in that in that uh, slot there. Can you see that? Yep. Uh, so this is often where they fail. That bend right there of course is a pretty um, uh, under quite a bit of pressure, it's quite small so if the tip breaks or flattens out the whole thing unwinds and uh, it's got to be re-bent and sharpened so that it can fit in there. Now under this one there's another one and its end is in that slot and it winds the other way uh, and is also engaged its end uh, in this center slot so as I say the way the way it works is when when we uh, apply trim what's happening is this part engaged with the aileron control when we uh, rotate the trim knob so if I rotate that that way that's putting more and more spring pressure on that shaft so if I roll it right what it's doing is putting pressure on the aileron system if I roll it left it's putting that spring pressure to, to roll it to the left and the further I wind it, the more pressure is being put on uh, the aileron system. Now, that only works if our uh, friction system, which we talked about in the first video, if the friction system, which clamps the, uh, the knob to the mount in the aircraft, is working properly. So what I'm going to do in the next video is show you what to do if Guy the Gorilla or something is tightening this up, the two halves together, such that they can't come apart.